Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. Okay, this will be my last one for this morning. I'm about to go get a nap. This is a news break from, uh, what's it called? Newsbreak.com. That's the name of the publication. And the title is CDC Documents Say States should prepare to distribute COVID-19 vaccines as soon as late October. Which means, if that was true, we're out of here. The first, I believe, and I believe the second rapture, but I could be wrong. It could be that the church, the part of the church, the 90% or however many it is that is not ready, they're not reading their Bibles, they're not obeying the word because they don't know it, or if they know it, they don't believe it. it's literal, like I used to be, okay, I was reading my Bible, even praying, filled with the Spirit, I didn't pray in the spirit the way I do now. It was a now and then thing. Like when I'd go to a church service where I could feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. But the point is, there were things in there that I didn't take literal. I said, surely the Lord doesn't expect a 20-some year old person to have to divorce a violent man getting more violent having I had two little girls there was other perversions and stuff going on and I thought surely the Lord would not expect me to stay single well we're not supposed to remarry you see how many people do not believe that they don't take it literal and yet many, 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 many pastors will tell you, because I heard it from their mouths, that it would be okay, God knows the circumstances, and blah, blah, blah. Well, how many other sins do you read about in there that you don't take literal? Because it's just too hard. Paul said all things are permissible, although not all things are, uh, how did he put it? All things are permissible, though not all things are, are like good for you, something like that. Not all things are beneficial to your body or to the body of Christ. You might feel perfectly fine drinking a beer at a restaurant. I see nothing wrong with someone having a beer anywhere unless when you do it in public you're telling someone that maybe you know that you've witnessed to and maybe they even accepted Christ and they're an alcoholic and trying to stop being and you don't see them, but they're sitting three tables down, kind of out of your view. And they can see you, and they see you drinking a beer. That's just an example. You see, all things might be permissible, but not all things are beneficial. And we're not supposed to do anything that's okay for us because we have the faith. Whatsoever you do, do it with faith. Otherwise, it is sin. If you think in your heart, well, I'm not really sure I should do this, but so-and-so's doing it. So-and-so over here is doing it. Yeah, okay, I'll have a beer. You're not doing it out of faith. What When you do it like that, it is a sin. You see what I'm saying? Okay, anyway, back to this. I don't know how I got off on that. Jeez, the Holy Spirit must be needing to tell somebody that. 
This is about the CDC documents say states should prepare to distribute COVID-19 vaccines as soon as late October. Okay, I think I read that. And now this little thing says, The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has told the public health officials around the United States to prepare to distribute a potential coronavirus vaccine as soon as late October. It also provided planning scenarios to help states prepare. The documents were posted by the New York Times. Now, you can read the full story if you want. Here's the thing about it. What kind of vaccine have they gotten ready that they haven't done animal testing or the the part where they they give the vaccine to the animal to wait and see do any of them die do do they have side effects if so how many they have to give it to a large number of them to have a successful to know how's it going to be with a large amount of people. And then, after so many months, maybe a year or two, they give them, they expose them to the disease that they gave them a vaccine for and wait and see how many come down with it to see was the vaccine even successful. Well, they're not doing any of that. They're just bypassing all of that. And supposedly gave it to 45 people. I'm not sure where I got that. They got some people to volunteer to take it. Now, whether it was for real, the real vaccine or not. I should look that up. How would I look that up? Have any testing been done on humans? I'll try that. Let's try that. Hold on. Um, how have the tests for the COVID vaccine gone? with people. Official updates, coronavirus information, COVID-19 vaccine research, what every person ought to know. This is United Nations Foundation Q&A with Dr. Peter Hotez. I think I've seen him on YouTube. Behind the Scenes of COVID-19 Vaccine Research Dr. Peter Hotez Can't Sleep As one of America's leading vaccine scientists, he oversees a team of researchers that's working on not one but two COVID-19 vaccines that he's hoping will begin clinical trials soon. I'm getting up at 4 a.m., he told me from his home in Houston, Texas, where he serves as director for the Center for Vaccine Development at Texas Children's Hospital. It's a combination of being terrified of what's going on and also energized. Dr. Hotez happens to be an expert in coronavirus vaccines, in particular, in particular, period. In March, he testified before Congress about developing a vaccine during the SARS epidemic in 2003 that sat untouched in a lab freezer. His team couldn't secure enough funding to begin clinical trials. I recently spoke with him about the Globe Quest for a COVID-19 cure what he thinks the average person should know about the World Health Organization, or WHO, 
and why everyday working scientists like him can no longer remain invisible. And they show some people wearing the total white garb that completely covers them, something completely covering their head, and a mask, and I hope a plastic mask um, shield goes over their eyes. MJ. That's the initials of a person. MJ. I want to start by going into your experience with coronavirus vaccines and what makes COVID-19 so different from previous outbreaks. Dr. Hotez says, this current COVID-19 outbreak is actually in some ways our third major coronavirus pandemic. Hmm. We had severe acute respiratory syndrome, or SARS, in 2003, which originated in southern China, spread into Toronto and elsewhere. And then we had the Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS, coronavirus, in 2012 from the Arabian Peninsula. And now we have COVID-19. Look at the difference. One is SARS, one is MERS, and one is COVID. That the CDC will tell you if you type it into the CDC that it stands for CO is for Corona and VI is for virus and D is for disease. But we learned lately that C is for certificate, O is for of, V is for vaccination with ID, and 19 is for AI. We know this virus replicates in the upper airways more than any other coronavirus do, or coronaviruses do, like SARS or MERS. Upper airways. Wouldn't that be your, like your nose and throat? And is therefore more transmissible. So you have this virus being transmitted when people cough or sneeze. Or even speak. As the virus can be aerosolized this way. Also there are the asymptomatic infections. People with no symptoms. I tell you, I, I don't feel like reading this whole article. I, I, I thought this guy was the one that exposed it. And maybe it gets down to that. How about I link them both in the description box. And if you can't read the description box... I would suggest you go to unfoundation.org. This says slash blog slash post slash QA dash with dash DR dash Peter dash Hotez dash behind the it's a dash in between all these words the scenes of COVID-19 there's a COVID-19 dash, dash vaccine dash research oh try just doing that because the rest is a bunch of numbers and letters All right. Oh, shoot. Well, I can get it back. I have to go to my email. Or rather... Oh. No, I researched that. Oh. 
There's my question. Okay, let me go back. Impact of vaccination speed, it disappeared. First coronavirus vaccine tested in humans shows early promise. Okay, I was right. The vaccine developed by government scientists and Moderna, a biotech company, appeared safe and provoked an immune response in 45 people in a study. I thought it was 45. The 45 people who were vaccinated in the early stage test of Moderna's vaccine produced neutralizing antibodies to the coronavirus but we know that's not what they're really going to give you we already know the truth about it I'll go ahead and link this one and I'm sorry I thought it came out of my email but I had done research on it and now it's gone that's really weird isn't it Okay, well, I'm going to end this here because I'm getting tired and I can't think straight. Okay, well, I hope, uh, okay, let me summarize it. They're saying it's going to come out in late October or possibly November. Um, but anyway, by, they're hoping by late October. If it does and you're, you're still here. I don't need to tell you, do not take it. No matter what the cost, do not take it. And you pass it on. But, you know, here's the thing. Right after the first fruits, first rapture batch is taken, it won't be long. We'll be back. And I just don't see it happening. We'll be going to people telling them they'll be believing us because of the things we'll be able to do to prove it, to prove we're who we say we are. I don't see it happening. See, Satan has all these plans. He has all these plans. But God has his. And remember Psalm 2? He who sits in heaven laughs. He sits up in the heavens and he laughs at them for their plans, knowing <laughs> you're in no way going to get away with that. Our Heavenly Father loves His people who chose to believe in His Son, even though they're not ready for heaven. He doesn't want he doesn't want anybody to go to hell. He's going to have us witnessing to people who've never heard of Jesus Christ yet. And there are some on the earth that have never allowed missionaries to come near. And they won't be able to hurt us. And they will believe. Alright, I'm going to end it at that. I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video, over the internet connection, over my myself, my computer, and over each and every one of you and your devices, your internet connections, your family, your home. And with that, I'm going to say, let us pray that we are counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. And come back as part of his harvest army. Won't it be exciting? It will be. It will be wonderful. It, it, it might be hard. I hope he just removes my emotional part of me. You know what I'm saying? 
seeing people die that have to. I guess once we know who's the evil ones and who his wrath is going to take out, or actually it'll be Satan's wrath because the church will be raptured before the wrath of God comes. The multitude too large to number happens in this, after the sixth seal is opened. Read it in Revelation chapter 7, verses 9 through 17. That's the second raptured bunch. The multitude too large to number. Then there's the seventh seal. I think that's 30 minutes of silence in heaven. And we don't know what that means. How, what's 30 minutes in heaven? How long is that down here? I'm sure it's more than 30, 30 seconds. I mean, 30, 30 seconds, 30 minutes. Anyway, it could be 30 days while well, things get settled down. Antichrist is cleaning stuff up. I don't know. I don't know. I... I I don't know what's going to go on down here. But anyway, I'm going to end it at that. And I'll say bye for now, y'all. I'll talk to you later.